Here we are at 2852 Tubman, Dayton, Ohio. What I like to do with properties like this, I go Section 8. The reason I go Section 8 is because what you're seeing here, all this carnage, you're going to see a lot less of it if you go Section 8. <laughs> well, looks like we... Uh... By and large, folks, if you're going to be a low-income investor, the only thing you're a victim mother for is not paying the rent and when you get section 8 tenants in your house they're paying the rent so you don't have to evict them welcome to the investment properties for sale show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't watch to be giving it to you straight i love investing in low-income properties y'all it is my business man i love it and i love markets like dayton ohio because you could buy houses for Pennies on the dollar, like this one. 2852 Tubman Avenue, y'all. Pennies on the dollar, $19,900. But I need to let you in on a little secret. One of the reason low-income investors like me and like you could buy properties like this for, for so cheap is because the name of the game is dealing with bullshit, okay? There is a lot of bullshit bullshit that comes along with being a low-income investor a la this property look at it this is like some post eviction carnage man these are the types of things we're gonna have to deal with i deal with it every single day and if you've never watched holton wise tv before i highly suggest you subscribe right we got holton wise tv on every platform you could imagine right the big shows, the full-length shows, the investment opportunities like this, you're going to see those on our website, or you're going to see those on the Holton Wise TV YouTube channel. But if you're into other stuff like the TikTok, the Twitter, the X, the Truth Social, the Instagram, you want to see the clips of the, you know, the fun stuff, the rough stuff, the stuff that gets all the excitement, you could subscribe to those channels, right? It's everywhere. Holton Wise TV is all about providing you guys with deals to do, but more importantly, the information you need to know how to do those deals. You need to understand what you're in for. That's why we don't sugarcoat stuff, right? You want to buy a $19,000 house that's going to rent for twelve fifty? dollars Cool. We can help you do that, but you need to understand the bullshit you're going to have to deal with to go through it. Now, personally, me, what I like to do with properties like this, I go Section 8. The reason I go Section 8 is because what you're seeing here, all this carnage, you're going to see a lot less of it if you go Section 8. Now, I know you might be like, oh, what are you talking about, dude? Section 8 that it's are always screwing shit up. Yeah, I get it. I get it, dog. But you take a neighborhood like this in Dayton, a low-income neighborhood like this, you're going to deal with a lot of high-risk tenants, okay? Now, if you have a property in, like, an affluent suburb, y'all, yeah, your Section 8 tenants are probably going to be a lot more risky uh, than people that can afford to live in high-end suburbs like that and are paying a ton of money in rent, probably have higher credit scores, good work history, things like that, right? Yeah, that's good. yeah. in that scenario, yeah, Section 8 tenants, man, they're going to be tough. You're probably going to want to avoid that, right? But you get into these low-income neighborhoods, right? Where the majority of the people that are living in these neighborhoods have lower income, have lower credit scores, are you know less reliable. The Section 8 tenants are the most reliable because the Section 8 tenants always have that rent paid for by Uncle Sam. When you always have your rent paid for, you don't have to evict people, right? I mean, every once in a while you might have to evict somebody, like one in a million, but more or less, right? I have evicted, dude, I don't know, probably like over a thousand people in my career. I've probably evicted over a thousand people. Do you know, let's say the number's a thousand. If I've evicted a thousand people, do you know how many of those people I evicted for reasons like other than not paying their rent? Maybe like four, okay? By and large, folks, if you're going to be a low income investor, the only thing you're evicting motherfuckers for is not paying the rent. And when you get Section 8 tenants in your house, they're paying the rent, so you don't have to evict them. You don't end up seeing stuff like this as often. Plus, your, te your Section 8 tenants are typically staying longer uh, than your cash paying tenants, right? So, the root of the majority of Dayton investors' issues in the low income neighborhoods, right? The root of that 
is not going Section 8. So I think Section 8 is the best way to do this, right? So you need to obviously go in, clean out all the crap, renovate the hell out of the house, and then you're going to be able to generate $12.50 a month in rent, folks. The numbers you see here, that's why people come to Dayton because the numbers that you see here are some of the best of the nation, right? So what you guys want to do now uh, is we're only going to be accepting as-is cash offers. No contingencies of any kind will be acceptable, okay? I want you to do your due diligence, though. So if you want to tour this home to figure out your scope of work, exactly how much money it's going to cost you to get it from where it is today as you see it to Section 8 ready or otherwise ready in another way, that's fine. You don't have to go Section 8. I'm just giving you all a little bit of advice from a motherfucker who's done $200 million worth of real estate. But you can fucking rent this to whoever you want. You can rent this to your fucking cousin Kimmy for all I care. Doesn't matter to me. Just fucking give me $19,900, brah. Anyway, as is cash offers only. So if prior to making that offer, you want to actually tour the house, put together your scope of work, figure out exactly what you need to do after you buy it, great. Send us an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. Hit us up before 5 o'clock. We will get you in there same day. Hit us up after 5 o'clock. You're going to have to wait till tomorrow because it's motherfucking beer 30 and I'm busy. Don't fucking bother me, bro. And also... If you guys are interested in financing, not to buy it, you got to have cash, but if you're interested in financing when you do a refinance on this bad boy, like this would be a perfect bird deal, buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, we have lenders for you, right? So just email us, we'll get you in the property, or if you've seen everything you need to see here on the video and you just want to make an as-is offer, sight unseen, that's fine. Just let me know, sales at holtonweiss.com, I'll need to see your proof of funds and how much you want to offer. Let's go! Here we are at 2852 Tubman, Dayton, Ohio. Got the Holton Y sign up here. Neighboring houses. Let's see. Not a terrible little street, actually. It looks fairly decent. Looks like most houses are occupied and pretty well kept. Tell you what we're going to do here, though. Is this house is locked with no lockbox. And bear with me here because we are going to get in so check it out here for the outside before we go uh doing all that single drive looks like a little uh sliding patio door going inside another one of those little houses that look kind of deceiving from the front because it looks like it goes back pretty far so check it out here can't really see much of the roof i don't know there's what we're working with there Vinyl siding. Front yard here. Check it out. Nice little houses next door. This would be a cool little house to fix up. Haven't seen inside though, so we'll leave that to the imagination for this time being, I guess. Let's back pretty far. Let's see if we can look at the backyard. See what it looks like. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Central air. Little shed thing. Let's go over here. I'm kind of curious to see what this is over here. Backyard goes back there pretty decent way. What the heck this is? Pretty tree just stabbing me in the head, but I don't know, some kind of air duck or something. I don't even know if I want to open this thing. Let's see if we can open it. Kind of what I expected. There's that. Central air. It's actually a pretty decent sized house. It's pretty deceiving from the front. Let's try not to make this video too long. Let's see if we can get in here. Bear with me here as I uh, try to drill this out. 
So you can see it's pretty old, fully locked. So let's see what I can do. Let's see if we can get in here. Bear with me here as I kind of trying to. Thought this bit was bigger than it is. <laughs> Might just end up kicking it down. So, let me, uh, it's not super solid. I do have a bad foot, though. <laughs> I was involved in an accident, and my foot's, my right foot's not the greatest, but let me set this phone down and see if I can't kick this thing down. Excuse, uh, the camera here. <laughs> well looks like we uh got in sorry for the the crappy camera view at the time but it's hard to kick down a door by yourself <laughs> somebody's missing some mail okay looks uh like somebody still lives in here. Check it out. Looks like they left about everything they own behind. Fireplace. Arm war thing. Couch. <laughs> Uh, let's walk around in here. See what it looks like. Turn my light here. Beautiful kitchen here. Hold up there. You can see what we got here. This leads to the garage. Definitely kind of a, I don't know, kind of looks like a horror. This room is actually, it looks like it was a garage at one point. And they just made it into a room that's like 50 foot long. <laughs> With all kinds of stuff in it. With a drop ceiling. bathroom okay water heater not connected to anything hold up there furnace furnace actually doesn't look that old washer hook up in here I don't see a tub or anything in here but walk over here People walking by, let me make sure they're not coming up here or anything. Just making sure they're not coming in here. <clears throat> Living room. Check it out here. Bedroom to the right of the living room. Beautiful. <laughs> kind of curious to see what happened to this person because it literally looked like they left everything in here. 
bathroom. Let's see if we can't get in here. Bathtub there. Beautiful. A window. That window actually faces out towards that little storage room. Old school sink. It's like they have old school everything in here. It's a little, new little like bedroom. Stuff's pretty gross, but let's see if we can get back here. Out of curiosity. Bedroom. Bedroom. I can't lean over too far. I have a hard time kind of getting in there. I have a hard time getting around this stuff. But big closet. Bedroom. Another bedroom. Big closet. Closet. Freaking stuff everywhere in here. But closet. Hit you a nice uh, grandma's comforter here. But I'm not going to say this house is impossible to redo, but you're definitely going to have to clean it out. Actually, at one point, it was probably a pretty sweet little place, especially with that little attached room that's pretty big. But haven't seen the electrical panel, which I'm kind of looking for, but shocked if it wasn't in here where this bathroom is. But I did not see it in here. Really curious to see where it is. One, because I'm supposed to get a view of it, so. I don't see it out here either. So I'm not sure. Um, if I can find it here, I'm going to... I definitely have to get a view of it, but like I said, not really being able to see it. Twenty eight fifty two, Tubman, Dayton, Ohio, and if I find this electric panel. I will definitely pick this video back up, or at least get some photos. But so far, no good. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.